Good evening, YouTube man versus video games here, and welcome to my first episode of Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. I don't get too excited about too many games. That's a lie, I actually get excited about a lot of games. But anyway, this one I am super excited to play. So let's get to it. Mind the road now. There are dogs on the loose around here. We're out here awfully late. True, but I'd say the meeting was worth it. With all the homeless around these days, there's no shortage of mouths to feed. And tonight marks a big step forward in solving that. I suppose you're right. But dear, I did want to talk about Bryce. <laughs> What happened? Someone's out there. No! Are we finished? Time for your reward. Just how long is this gonna take? Oh, I'll be done any second. Just need to give this a once over. And that should do it. <laughs> Your resume's in good hands, Sasaki san. <clears throat> my name is Ichiban Kasuga, and finding you work is my work. Now, let's get you something good. Yeah, let's. Big celebrity ought to have big connections. I wouldn't say that. I'm really no big deal. So, what kind of work you got for me, Kasuga-san? Well, before that, Sasaki-san. It says here you work for Moroi Industries. Yeah, that's what it says on the paper. To my knowledge, Moroi Industries is a front company that processes waste for a syndicate called the Hiwatashi Clan. All their employees are Yakuza. Hey, you know your stuff. It also says here that you were let go from your position there. If I'm not mistaken, this is because the business shut down after the Hiwatashi Clan disbanded last month? Is that correct? <sighs> yeah, what about it? And taking into account that you worked at Maroi Industries and the fact that you have quite an intricate tattoo, can I assume that you're an ex-Yakuza who just recently got out of the trade? You're telling me that matters? You'll need to indicate that on your resume. Listen, buddy. What I did or didn't do before coming here is my own business. At the very least, it's information your employer deserves to know. <sighs> 
How about you drop the silly little act already, eh, Kasuga-san? You think I haven't heard the rumors? Rumors? About what? About you finding good work for ex-Yakuza, like me. Those rumors. People from all over have been calling you a savior. Afraid I don't know what you mean. I'm just a regular guy at a regular job. I thought I told you to cut the crap. I don't have time for games here. All right, then. Let's start by rewriting your resume. Do you have any special qualifications you can list? Uh, they'll help you cast a wider net when- What'd I say? Knock that humble servant shit off. If I can ask you to please keep your voice down, loud noises might be disturbing to the other customers. <laughs> Sasaki-san, our job is to find the ideal match for both our customers and our business partners. However, with your behavior today, I doubt you'll be getting a job anytime soon. You may have left the Yakuza, but it hasn't left you. I have no jobs to offer you at this time. I'll have to ask you to leave. You bastard! Hmm. <sighs> you got more to say? Damn it! Some help you turned out to be. Waste of my goddamn time! Apologies for the disturbance, everyone. We should be okay now. Next customer, please come to counter four. Go. Oh, uh, thanks. Nice work today, Kasuga-san. Uh, you okay after all that? Oh, yeah. It was no sweat. Didn't mean to make a scene. Sorry about that. Oh, not at all. I just feel bad you have to put up with all that. Uh, sorry to place it on you. Ah, it's all good. Really, I'm just happy I can make myself useful. It's the least I can do. Especially after you guys bothered to take me in. Wow. You really are the hero of Yokohama. We're glad to have you around. Come on, you don't have to call me that. Why not? You exposed the crimes of both the governor and the police department. You're a man of the people. No, oh, that's really too much. Besides, that was a while ago. Well, we're proud just to share a workplace with you. You ought to be proud of yourself too, Kasuka-san. <laughs> Hey, I appreciate the kind words. Anyway, I'm heading out for the day. I'll see you later, yeah? Yeah, I should get some grub before I head home. Either I go for a sit-down place or play it safe and get a beef boat. Kind of out of the way, but... To check the restaurant Central Street, then go for a beef bow if I ain't feeling it. Okay! That's a pretty good intro. Finally get a control uh, Ichiban. Don't have to worry about that. Shows us we can X to sprint. We actually are two to sprint too. Okay, cool. Yeah, I put about a little over a hundred hours into its predecessor. I mean, I can't treasure hunt anymore. It's whack. Okay, I gotta see where we're going. It's gonna go this way, it looks like. All the while trying to see if I can pick up any kind of loot on the side. I'd love to go to Hawaii just once. Hmm. This is this suitcase. Cognitive enhancers, medicine that cures stun and restores 50 health. Hmm. 
Hey, cut is on. Hello to you. Come back soon, okay? Here's a new briefcase. Some apple defense. More cognitive enhancers. I don't think the restaurants is the way. Okay. Fine. Something I can help you with, Sasaki san. You saw his huh? eyes behind his back? <laughs> Should have guessed. Uh, I just wanted to say sorry about before. I wasn't exactly reading the room. Huh? It's about money, right? I thought as much. You might be a savior. Saving people ain't free. <laughs> 50 grand ought to do it, right? <laughs> I hit it big at the boat races today. 50k a job though. Damn good racket you've got there. Can't say I ain't jealous. You've got the wrong idea here. I'm not in this for myself. Huh? Hey, hold up. What's your deal? What? You want more or something? How much I gotta give you to get a job? The five-year ex Yakuza clause. That's what's left you high and dry, right? Five years of red-taped hell follow a Yakuza on his way out. You can't open a bank account, or even rent some rat hole apartment. A cell phone plan's basically a no-go. You can forget about health insurance. Of course, it's made that much worse by the fact that no one wants to hire someone like that. Yeah, you clearly get it. So help a guy. All the people who were thrown out into the world after the Omi and Tojo dissolved are working their asses off just to get by. You think you can just slip a guy some cash, and that's that? Get real, pal. Things don't work that way. Look, I didn't follow you out here for a lecture. Just take the stupid money, will you? Huh? Hey, cut it out! My money! Oh, what the hell, man? You know, rest now. Just take your money and go. Yeah! Quit acting all high and mighty. When it comes down to it, you're just like me. The shit ain't fair. The battle Fight time. is on. Hey. Please use the command menu to the bottom left corner of the screen to choose your actions in battle. Select the tank attack to perform basic attack. Go on, hit him with your best shot. Guess there's no choice. Let's cool you yeah, out. I like the huh? circle they have here. They can actually move this time. Okay. Hey, quickly select attack before a down enemy gets up to strike them for heavier damage. Sorry about that. You were kind of um, wide open. Okay, select skills to unleash a powerful ability that exchanged for mental points. Your current MP is displayed in green. Gauge at the bottom right. Recover MP with basic attacks. Or by selecting uh, your, ex your basically your miscellaneous menu and then selecting an item. Uh, skills will activate action prompts. For successfully inputting the square triangle will increase your damage you dish out. Hey, a special skill! How about that? Tenacious fist. Open wide! Break yourself! Ah! And I'll press circle in the moment you're attacked to perform a perfect guard, decreasing the damage you take and lowering the chance of receiving status ailment. You can perform perfect guard as long as you are able to act. All this may be an advanced technique, give it a shot as often as you can. Yeah, I just struggle with this part. Okay, the red gauge at the bottom of the right screen displays your health points. Party leader's health points hits zero. The game is over. You can recover health with items, so grab a snack if you need to fuel up. At last, this concludes our battle tutorial. Yeah, I think I'm good for health. This guy is about down, so... Sasaki defeated.
Washing out this stink. <laughs> Shoot, where's that other bill at? Aha! Gotcha! What the hell's he doing? <laughs> Yo, take a look! Your money's safe and sound! <laughs> Oh, but at what cost? Oh, I think this suit might be a That was nasty. <laughs> think Ichikon, yeah. Ichiban had a well, condom in his hair. Right? Hey, were the rumors even true? A bunch of dudes told me you could hook me up, that you'd give me a job for 50 grand. While it's partly true, I am helping those who left the Yakuza find work. And as for that 50 grand, I did get that from someone about a year ago. Wait, then that means... But it wasn't for the job. I got a phone plan set up for him. He was just paying me back. <sighs> phone plan? I got him a job at a pharmaceuticals manufacturer. They were looking for someone to help deal with resellers. Masks, cold medicine, antiseptic. Back when people were hoarding those, it left a lot of others hurting. Whenever crooks like that try to cash in online, it's his job to put in fake bids and shut it all down. There are really jobs like that out there? It's kind of a gray area thing. Still, resellers are a huge thorn in those company sides. That's where the fake bids come in. Sort of tricky if you don't have a phone handy, you know? And as you're aware, ex-Yakuza aren't allowed to sign up. So you signed up for him? Yeah. Just to hold him over until he can find a better job. Ah. <sighs> Everyone's gritting their teeth to get through this thing. I got no work to give to someone who waltzes up all cocky and shoves cash in my face. <sighs> it's tough, jumping back on the straight and narrow. I know. I went through all that life has to offer, just like you. I know how hard that shit is. But, if you're prepared to try, to put your head down and crawl your way back up, if you really, truly want that, I'm right there with you. What do you say? You know, when you were down there gathering up all my money just now, I was sure you were gonna steal it. But you didn't. I, uh... <laughs> Uh, well, for the first time in my life, I actually felt pretty, uh, pretty ashamed. It made me realize that I half-assed just about everything I am. Please, please help me. I, I want to start over. I'll do whatever it takes. Okay, it's a deal. But do me a favor and stand up, all right? You're gonna be the one to do it, Sasaki-san. You're gonna put in the work. All I can do is give you a little push. Still, I'll do the best I can. Oh, thank you. Right then. Come on back to Hello Work tomorrow. All right. This here's your stipend. As to how you use it, well, it all depends on you. Right! Okay, time to eat.
Okay. Another day, another chance to make a difference! Nice. Looking sharp. Here's hoping Sasaki actually shows up today. Yes, there's only one way to find out. Time to head to work. And yes, I'll be reading his inner thoughts. Oh, I gotta pay my respects first. I am taking off now, boss. Young master. Can't believe it's already been three years since they both passed. Tojo and Omni breaking up at the same time. They call it the Great Dissolution nowadays. Crazy they went out during the peak of all that. You know, lately I've been busy with what's in front of me. Might be good to reflect on how I got here. Uh, we'll reminisce, why not? Uh, yeah, I got some time before work. I have two father fathers, the first being the man that raised me, Yuro Kasuga. The other is my Yakuza father and old boss, Mazumi Ar Arkawana, Arakawa. I apologize, I'll be butchering these names like crazy. The boss was like a lighthouse to me. No matter the tide, he was always there, guiding me to shore. I want to repay him somehow, even if it's just in my own little way. It's why I picked up this job. Finding a place for all the guys left behind in the great dissolution was the boss's dying wish. Can't say it's been fulfilled all that well, though. No sweat, though. I'll see it through. This you watch, boss. And the young master. Masato Arkawa. He was the boss's son, and well, me, I guess he was like, I mean, really, you, we were like brothers, as far as I'm concerned. The young master used to, whatever dirty tricks he could to move up in the world. But those fell through. Heck, at one point, he was planning to end it all. I think I talked him out of it. He was ready to get, ready to start over to keep on living, and even then, someone took that away from him. The bastard. Who did it? A guy named Kume tried to escape, but they eventually caught him. He got busted all the, for all the crimes he committed to, and while he didn't get a life sentence, he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Kume was a monster of the young master's own creation. Most people probably tell you he got what is coming to him. I'd rather not see it that way personally. Even now, I still wonder how things might have been if he'd survive, if he'd been given the chance. Shoot, I shouldn't have bummed myself out, work, bummed myself out before work like this. Alright, it's almost time, let's go. Gotta give it all my all at the office today. Yep, that's all one person can do, just give it all. It's a pretty good attitude for Ichibam to have to wake up and be like, good time to make a difference today. Everybody should do that, try and make a difference at some point. Okay, where am I going? Hi guys. Guess I'm going back to work. I forgot about that. Let's keep going straight. Go check on this. Up. The heck was that? Someone get hurt? Let's check it out where the voice came from. There's this lady here. Hamako-san. Hamako-san. Oh, Ichiban, you're a sight for sore eyes. I almost didn't recognize you there. 
Cleaned up quite nice since I last saw ya. <laughs> well, not much has changed on the inside. Anyway, you fall or something? Yeah, sure did. Was just capping off an all-night bender and, well, my legs gave out. Do yourself a favor and don't get old. True that. Okay, I never thought I was what should I say to Hamako san? Tell her to use up on drinks or lend her a shoulder. I'll lend her a shoulder. You gonna be okay? I don't mind walking you home. Huh? Oh, I'm fine. It's not that bad. I get little bumps like this every day. I'll just walk it off. You sure? Doesn't seem like a little bump to me. You're imagining things. Besides, don't you finally have a job? If I were you, I'd get there on the double. What, and leave you to limp on home? <laughs> I'm not some invalid. I can take care of myself just fine. Now go, run along to work. After all, steady income isn't something you could take for granted. You know that, right? I know. Just go see a doctor when you can. I will. Thanks for the concern. Okay, Kasuga's personality is represented by the following traits, passion, confidence, charisma, kindness, intellect, and style. Uh, refining Kasuga's personality will earn him many perks such as increased resistance to enemy skills and status ailments, as well as access to new facilities. A personality chances opportunity to improve Kasuga's character. Different stats will raise depending on your selections. There are also many personality challenges which boost the traits upon completion. Check them out via the pause menu. Okay. That's kind of cool. It kind of like, sounds like they probably did away from in the first game. There was that uh, university where you could increase your personality stats. We got the suitcase over here. Peach step. Get some of this. Firm or supreme herb. Cream herb. Yeah, as like in the last game, there's gonna be crafting. I'm kind of excited to check out, see what form of crafting I'll have. Hello, fellow colleagues. All right then. Good luck with your interview. Next in line, please. Um, my name's Shinya Sasaki. A pleasure to meet you. Welcome. Take a seat. Did you happen to bring a resume? Yes, sir, I did. Sasaki-san. May I inquire about your criminal record? Mm -hmm. uh, it was theft. Watches and cosmetics and the like. I would steal anything valuable I could get my hands on so long as it was small enough. Uh, I had a buddy who fenced stuff on the black market, so I usually sell it to him. I see. Does that uh, make things too difficult? Sasaki-san, may I ask you something? Sure. I don't see any record of punishment on here. In that case, why put your criminal history at all? Because I did those things, sir. If I'd hid my record to get a job, I'd only make trouble for the company if it ever got out. I really want to start fresh. I can't go around acting like that never happened. That's a great way to think about it. On that note, don't worry. I have just the job for a man like you. Really? What kind of job? Well, simply put... Shoplifting!
Um, excuse me. Would you be a deer and point me to the mouthwash? Uh, oh, sure. It should be right this way. Pardon me, but do you think I could see this up close? Sure, one moment. Good eye. This one's a top seller. Isn't it just perfect, honey? It's nice, but it's almost time for the movie. We should take a rain check. Oh no, it's that late. We'll swing by after. No trouble. I hope to see you again soon. Fly dogs. We're all done on our end. How'd it go? Got everything you asked for. Plus, a couple other big ticket items for good measure. Ah, damn. Gotcha, son. Glad I went to the pros for this one. <laughs> okay, sunglasses, some cosmetics, a wallet, condoms. What else? Long story short, every shop had a ton of blind spots, what with how they were set up. Of course, it's been ages since somebody had to rely on the fake arm routine. Get caught pulling something like that and uh, there's not much you can say. That's why it's common for thieves to uh, work in teams nowadays. Usually that means two roles, a lookout or a decoy and then the thief. A little division of labor can go a long way. A smaller cut in exchange for safety, huh? Well, it certainly beats jail time. Good work today. I'm heading home. Hey, you as well. Hope I can count on you again. Yeah, thanks for everything. Oh no. This was my first time helping someone steal something, so I was really nervous. Anyway, I'll see you two later. See ya. So... That's why you were saying you needed a hand. Yeah, the job's much easier for two than it is for one. She made for a pretty great actress, too. I guess listing the job as extra worked out. Better than we could have hoped. But I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with your performance. You really know your stuff. Although, that last shop you hit up, from the look of it, they put a lot of money into their security system. The shop itself was Fairly small, with cameras in every corner. Not only that, there wasn't much in the way of cover, meaning little to no blind spots. So how'd you swipe a high-end wallet out from under them? Well, sometimes those stores have fake cameras, but I could tell these were the real deal. We were also the only customers, so the shopkeep always had an eye on us. <sighs> that said, there was a camera above the register, and it was pointed more downwards than the others, meaning it wasn't getting a full view of the floor. Maybe they wanted it to focus more on the register, or it was just a mistake during installation. But either way, that right there was our blind spot. No kidding. Well, once I saw that, all I had to do was play the waiting game. Of course, the shopkeep realized what went down the moment we left, Cameras got nothing on tape. The deed had already been done. You really figured out all that on your first trip and made off with some goods to boot? <laughs> I think I like this guy. I'm just amazed there's a job like this out there, especially considering my past and all. You know, they say 1.2 billion yen worth of merchandise gets stolen every year. Now, for most retailers, it's 
A life or death issue that could sink your business? Just like that. And despite that, a lot of business owners think all they need is a security guard or a few cameras. And that's just not true. All that really does is add a few blind spots you didn't have before. In fact, it could actually make it easier to steal things. Right. That is where we come in. It's our job to sniff out the gaps. As you might have figured, if you'd failed today, that would mean their security systems were all squared away. But, as we can clearly see... Yep. And from here, I'll summarize their security flaws in a report and submit it to their managers. Now, that should do it for work they hired us for, but for my money, there's a real business opportunity here. Uh, meaning... Meaning now, I can offer them consulting, get a contract going, and I can advise them on where to place cameras or even introduce them to reputable security companies. Huh. Makes sense. Actually, once I uh, get this business off the ground, I'm thinking of starting up my own security company. Uh, the goal is to have a firm that can handle everything from investigation to consultation to basic security. Wow. Howdy, fellas. Hey, Kasuga. Well, Adachi-san, how's Sasaki working out? Well, if you ask me, he's a real pro. Already can't afford to lose him. Can I take that to mean he's hired? Yep. Glad to have him. Ah, thank you. I know I have a lot to learn, but I promise I'll work real hard. Hey, hey, hey. Your days of bowing like that are over, pal. Oh, sorry. Force of habit. <laughs> we'll make a working class civvy out of you yet. Well, what's the book? Oh, I found this over at a nearby bookstore. Security industry certification? Right now, all you can do is steal and investigate. But that won't be enough. I was thinking you could study and get yourself certified. That way, you'll be ready to help out when Adachi-san expands his business. Sure, that'd be a big help. Give it a read when you get some time. Uh, Kasuga-san, tell me, what's your goal in all this? Huh? I mean, at this point, it's just weird. You must want something, right? Who goes that far for a stranger? You don't have some ulterior motive. Motive? Well, I, I guess you could say that. This is actually my way of repaying a debt. A debt? Everything I've done is what my patriarch in the Arakawa family was trying to do. It's the job he left behind when he passed on. He wanted to build a safe place for all the ex-Yakuza. Those with nowhere to turn. Carrying out his will is everything to me. More than that, it's my reason to live. Still, I can really only handle a tiny piece of it. <sighs> all in all, I'm just doing whatever I can. For real? <laughs> Man, you are one of a kind. Anyhow, I ought to get going. Do right by Adachi-san here, okay? So soon? Come on, you just got here. Ah, I've still got work to wrap up. All right, then. Good luck with everything. Thanks. He's still on the clock? I never knew Hello Work was so busy. Nah, Hello Work's done for the day. This... something a little different. Huh? There are a whole bunch of former Yakuza and Ijincho that Kasuga's helped out, same as you. Once he's done at the office, he typically heads out to check in and see how they're doing. two biggest Yakuza organizations in Japan, the Omi Alliance and Tojo Clan, were completely dissolved. And that day, no fewer than 30,000 Yakuza were spit back into the real world. A lot of them likely couldn't find work and weren't left with a whole lot of options. Kasuga, he's dead set on rehabilitating every last one of them. Every single one? Is that even possible? Well, not normally, no. Seeing him give his all, 
Well, it makes me feel like even the impossible is possible. It's hard not to help out a guy like that. Yeah. Honestly, I think I feel the same. Hmm. Someone text me. Oh, it's Nanba. Remember, we're meeting to survive. I survived tonight. Don't be late. Shoot, I was so busy with Sasaki, I almost forgot. Thanks, Namba. Better hustle over to five. Ooh, there's a case right next to me. Noise. Natural herb. Intoxication bomb. There's another case right here. Sweet. Dude. I know, but I'm trying to get the. Let me get it. It is not going to let me get it. Okay, well, uh, screw it. I can grab it next time. I'm down here. And it's not telling me to go survive. Please stop. Huh? What'd you say? You ever speak up if you want to be heard, eh? Uh. Uh, what are you looking at? <laughs> Girl just ran. It's like, I'm out of here. Hey, see, nobody gives a crap about you. Uh, hey. hey. I wouldn't go that far. What? Huh? The hell you are! Get away from him! And why the f should I listen to you? If you do, I'm gonna send your asses to the moon. <laughs> Whoa, so scary! Sounds like someone needs a their face punched in. Haha, <laughs> with pleasure. The Street dogs. Okay, while selecting command, you can use L to move within the ring beneath your feet. Your position your relative to the enemies can make a big difference, especially when you're using basic attacks. Try getting closer to the bike's bicycle and see what happens. Anything useful around here? There's a cone. Yeah, triangle will, icon will appear uh, when you're near a usable object. Select an attack will let you pick it up and wield it as a weapon. The effects of the damage dealt vary from object to object, but they'll all lay on the Herc, so don't hold back. Wait a minute. Okay, let's do this. Street code. Stuck on that, guys. Hey! That's my bike. Select a cat attack to approach an enemy. The target indicator changes in proximity bonus is displayed. You receive a small damage boost when striking from close range. Uh, when you're back when your back's to the wall, sometimes every advantage counts. So now if you the redder it is, it looks like. Yeah, so this is more bonus. <laughs> And take care of him though. <laughs> Attacks sometimes launch enemies backward. They'll take more damage when fighting with walls, objects, or their friends. Skills with the knockback ability do this too. So the tutorials for now get your game face on. They suppose they wanted me to try the knocking back. Yeah, he should be. Hit his friend and they're both down. Nice. Oh, Shit, man. We're sorry. Forgive us. 
I'm not the one you should apologize to. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, sorry. So, what do you think? Well, uh, just let him go. Better to keep the cops out of it. Well, I guess you guys are lucky. Just know there won't be a second time. Uh, yes, sir. Now get out of here. Hey. You all right? You hear? Uh, no, I'm fine. Anyway, thanks. Been a while since someone's shown me any kindness. Ain't no sweat. They just pissed me off is all. I've seen you around before. Just get in? Yeah, the other day. All right. You know where, uh, Sirikame Bridge is? You should go over, you should try over there way better than being on the left. Never known. I'll make my way over. Uh, thanks so much, pal. Oh crap, I'm late. Better hurry to survive. Okay, enemies that wander a city bear an icon representing the pow their power coming into contact with them will trigger a fight. Make sure to pay attention to the strength indicators. You good to know. Yeah, I think I am going to take this cab and we'll go over survive rather than this talks about moving cursor to any location on the map, press X to view directions to that destination. Uh, you can also hover over establishments and press where to see the recommendations and menu items. They can view information on the place by press and triangle. That's cool. Yeah, I think because we have to go all the way over here. I'm going to take this cab that's coming up here. We can safely cross the street without getting hit. Okay, yes. I'm going to finish this part. Finish this part, then we'll probably call that episode pretty good. <sighs> Damn, that's <sighs> what. Hey, Namba. You come here straight from work? Yeah. Uh, I've been on my feet all day, so this is just what the doctor ordered. Bartender, another round. On me. <laughs> well, you've certainly moved up in the world. How have you been holding up, Sachan? The club's still running? Running like it's on its last legs. All things considered, though, I guess you could say we'll survive. Well, that's good. One thing's for sure. I won't let everything Nono Mia worked for go to waste. Mm. Someday, it'll be the hottest club in all of Yokohama. You guys are welcome to visit any time, you know. <laughs> sure. Just don't go up charging us, huh? You know that's not how I do business. And if it was, you bums couldn't pay up anyway. <laughs> she ain't lying. Beer's huh? here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right on time, boss she man. She ain't lying. Yeah, just, just, tonight, I say we get plastered. <laughs> just so long as you don't end up on the floor. Yeah. All right. And what's there? We have another toast. Cheers! <laughs> So, Xiao said he couldn't make it, huh? Yeah, same with Junki Han. Man, what gives? This is our first time grabbing beers in six months. Ah, oh, they're just looking out for us. They're still part of the underworld, so they can't exactly pal around all the time, you know? It really is a shame, though. Yeah, either way, Kassid is right. We were living in two different worlds that just aren't meant to cross paths. Especially if we want to keep these new lives we've built for ourselves. Plus, it's not like we'll never see them again. It's like they say, no news is good news. Yeah. So, how's everyone been holding up? 
Still keeping at it with Arakawa-san's parting gift? Well, I got a long road ahead, but I'm chipping away. Adachi-san's already helped out a ton. <laughs> You're telling me? Rinky-dink op like mine can't just pull jobs out of thin air. No, really. I'm grateful. Ah, I'm just ribbing you. You're doing great, pal. <laughs> Not that you're any richer for it. <laughs> you never change, do you? Nope. But in a way, that's what makes him cool. Oh, <laughs> you think? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna use the restroom. Uh, the restroom's unlocked, right? Well, how are things going with Sachan, huh? Huh? You two, uh, gone on a date yet? Wait, what, what are you talking about? Uh, that settles it. He hasn't done squat. Ah, uh, you know, I figured you might be too busy to date, but I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> what a bust. Hey, hold up. What's with you? Kasuga, you got a thing for Sachan, right? I... Uh, well, um... Uh, like we wouldn't find out. Your face says it all. Don't tell me you didn't notice all that extra space we've been giving you. You what? Well, don't worry about all that. The important thing is, if you're gonna make a move, now's the time, huh? You're both living pretty stable lives at this point. You ought to be able to think about stuff like that now. D yeah, but... You can make excuses all you want, but that won't help if someone else swoops her up, will it? I'm sure Sachan's got a few deep-pocketed regulars here and there. You might have more competition than you think, huh? Oh, I'm no good with that kind of stuff, though. I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> yeah, let's just hope Sasaki doesn't see you like this. But seriously, you should ask her out when we leave here tonight. Something like... You wanna hang out together? Just the two of us? That's enough for now. Hey, good thinking, Itachi son. Guess a veteran knows best. <laughs> what now, Adachi son? Got some new scheme in the works? <laughs> I might. Oh, yeah. Well, if she knew. The other day. Right, Namba? We're zigzagging. All right. Easy. I'll go with you. I gotta head to the station either way. No, no I'm fine. Honest. Maybe on the inside. All right. We'll see you later. Let's do this again sometime, huh? <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> see you around. You got one life, pal. Aim true, fire away. <laughs> Adachi-san. Come on, Namba, let's roll. Hey, hey, slow down. You think I'll be all right? <laughs> oh well, guess I should go too. See you later, Ichiban. Uh, Sachan! Hmm? Um, nothing. Come on, spit it out. No, forget I said anything. <sighs> okay. Well, good night. Sachan! Ichiban, seriously, what's gotten into you? Sorry. Listen. Do you maybe, uh... Want to hang out sometime? Huh? <laughs> what? You already planning our next get-together? <sighs> we decided to do the next one at my club, remember? Uh, no, um, not like that. 
I mean just us. You know, like together. Now, oh shit! Hello. Sorry, I I sort of panicked. I didn't expect that. No, I'm sorry. It was rude of me to spring that on you like that. You know, I'm free next Saturday. Uh huh. We're gonna hang out, right? Just the two of us? Uh, wait, you mean... I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> anyway, see ya. Yeah! I did it! She said yes! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, John? Yo, good to see you, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Cut it out, will ya? What's up with you two? Hey, buddy! Guess what? I did it! You did I finally what? did it! You reek of food! <laughs> oh, come on! This is huge, fellas! <laughs> Don't spoil the party! Come on, dance! Dance! Hallelujah! 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 Just roll with it, man! Just roll! <laughs> Oh, shit! And she really said yes? Good for you. She's a hell of a girl. So why do you look so down? Well, it's just... I was locked up from the time I turned 24. I don't have much experience dating. Especially not with a grown woman like Sachan. Oh, are you that nervous? Hey, end of the day, dates come and go. No need to stress out. But what if it all goes to hell and we never recover from it? What if she never wants to see me again? Don't forget it, I'm calling the whole thing off. And she'll definitely hate you if you cancel on her now. What am I supposed to do? Where do we go? What, what do we eat? What do we talk about? I've never thought about this stuff before. <laughs> all right now, take a breath. Leave all that to the experts. <laughs> oh yeah, we got this. Wait, can you two really help me out here? Sure, who's got more experience than us? Look, this is your big chance after all. We're gonna help you make the most of it. You guys, teach me your ways. Okay, let's get started then. What is first when it comes to date prep? Easy. Before you do anything else, relax. Dates are nothing but people getting to know each other. It's all just human nature. Act natural. I guess that makes sense. Human nature. What? No, that's not it. Huh? But, um... A woman's not looking to just chew the fat on a date. You want to woo her. Give her a night she'll remember. Forget acting natural. You stay sharp and be the perfect version of yourself. Okay, right. I need to make everything special. Uh, but 
how do I do that while acting natural, like Namba said? Look, I'm the most experienced here, yeah? Just listen to what I tell you. Oh, hell no. The only thing a Dachi is more experienced in is paying for it. Uh, you little... Look, exactly how many girls did you take back to the old cardboard box, huh? Oh, so that's how it's gonna be. Uh, guys? Uh, it's this room. It's too hard to think in here. Let's hit the town. That'll get Namba and me inspired, yeah? Of course, as to which of us you listen to, well... You can make that call. Good idea. I'll show you just how to win a woman's heart. Let's go. Okay. I, uh, I appreciate it. So, um, what are we doing here? Shh, 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 Kasuga. Class is in session. Uh, what? Lesson one in the art of love. Waiting. Waiting for what? Listen up. The date's begun the moment you reach the meeting spot and assume position. It is vital to arrive ahead of time by an hour, maybe two. And then you wait, like a man. Remember, when the girl arrives, she's gonna take one look at you and register a full impression. That impression doesn't wash off. It can take years to fix. I get it. First impressions, yeah? Makes sense. I have to admit he's right. So, show us how you'll wait for Sacha. Okay, sure. Wait, what do you mean? I'll just, you know, stand? No, you're too stiff. Every fiber of your body looks nervous. You want Sacha to feel at ease. Oh, crap, really? Uh, then, uh, how should I stand? Who said anything about standing? Hey, why don't you park yourself on that bench there? Maybe even doze off a bit. Uh, the what? You want me to fall asleep while I'm waiting? What did I say earlier? Dates should be natural. Now listen, who in the world has seen your sleeping face besides people you trust and have opened up to? Uh, my cellmates, maybe? Forget about all that. The point is for Sachan to think, Wow! Ichi must feel so comfortable with me. Oh, and he looks like a precious puppy when he's choosing. She'll want to protect you. Are you sure about this, man? What do you think, Adachi-san? Dozing off on a park bench? Huge mistake. What did we say before? A girl wants to feel special. That all starts with your posture. How do you make someone feel special with your posture? Remember the rule. 30 minutes early, at least, then you stand silent like a statue. Don't look around. Just hold your gaze firmly in the direction she'll be coming from. When Sachan shows up and gets a load of that, she'll be putty in your hands. Ichiban, she'll think. I've never noticed how manly and passionate he seems. Get it? Okay, yeah. Maybe it'd be good to show her that side of me. Whatever. Ichi, you can't do both. Which of our strategies are you going with here? Oh, I have to choose. Now, this is a personality chance. So I can either sit and act natural or stand and pose. I think I'm stand and pose. I don't want the idea of falling asleep. That's kind of, you know, not cool. Gotta trust Adachi-san. Now stand and wait for her. Huh? Good choice. Why? Makes because, me passionate. Well, if I got there and saw Sachan sleeping on a bench, I figure she was exhausted. I worry bored. the whole time that she's too tired to enjoy the date. Huh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. That, my friend, is why you stand firm. You're a proud soldier on your way to win the war. Um, I don't know if that's really how I want to imagine this date, but I, I admit I didn't get just how much my posture would matter. I'll be sure not to look tired or sloppy. Thanks. All right, all right. You take this one, Adachi-san. But we're not done yet. Come along. Art of Love, Lesson 2. Location, location, location. 
Yes, that's exactly what I need. Someplace fancy we can go. Huh? Fancy? Yeah, the date should be special. That's what you said. So, like, a nice Italian or French restaurant? Oh, jeez. You guys are kidding me. A fancy restaurant? Oh, Ichiban, it's like you're studying some kind of date manual. Exactly. It's too obvious. You'll make her feel like you're running on autopilot. Kasuga, you need a spot that says you picked it just for her. Someplace just for her, huh? Like what? Like, uh... Ooh, Indian curry. A curry place? Not just any curry place. That one has a secret menu. You can order a curry there, curry spice is level Chandin uncle. That's 1.2 million on the Scoville scale. 500 times spicier than Tabasco. 500 times spicier? Yep. Even the most spice-hardened bastards run from those numbers. No one's ever finished a whole bowl. Now you tell me, what'll Sachan think when you conquer that beast right before her eyes? I'm not that into spicy food, man. Moron! That makes it even better! Suffer for her. Let her see you wiping the sweat from your brow. It's the struggle that's sexy. Oh, she'll be buddy in your hands. Really? Idiot. What happens when the curry wins? You'll just be a quivering, snotty mess. That's true. Listen or the to what toilet I'm to all you. night. Act natural. Don't be someone you're not. And don't trip over yourself finding somewhere new. Go somewhere you always go. Maybe, but for me, that's mostly just beef bowl places. Well, have some beef bowls. Come on, what? A beef bowl date? You think it's against the law or something? All that matters is that you stay relaxed. And right now, that means beef bowls. That's true, I guess. I would be nervous heading to some Italian or French place. Dumbass! Beef bowls don't win hearts. Show her you're a champ. Spice Dumbass! Are my only options really beef bowls or the hottest curry on earth? Or you could always just give up, wallow in indecision, grow old and alone. Make a choice. Uh, seriously? Uh, fine. If I've got to choose, then... Yeah, if you have to choose, I'll probably go for the usual beef bowl. I mean, level 100 Kiri, that just sounds bad. Sounds for a bad end of the date night. Then it's the beef bowls, yes. What? Beef bowls on a date? You lose your mind? I know it's not perfect, but I keep thinking of Sajan sitting in silence while I tackle that curry. But she's, you, you know, watching you with pride. She's in awe of your, your bravery. Uh, does that sound like Sajan to you? Am I taking her out just to perform for her? Of course you are! It's about impressing her! Maybe, but isn't the whole point of a date to talk with each other? I'd rather do that over dinner than win some food challenge. Well, uh, <laughs> you got it! The lesson behind the lesson. <laughs> Precisely, Ichiban! <laughs> Thanks! And, uh, that means beef bowls are out of the question too, right? They might help me relax, but it wouldn't be that special for Sachan. I guess I've just got to find a spot we'll both like. Uh, yeah, precisely. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, now you get it. You saw through my trick and realized the true lesson underneath. You know, he's really not that clueless. Oh, you're right. Maybe all he's actually missing is confidence. Gotta say, I, I wasn't sure about this before, but... You guys really do have me feeling readier for this date. So, what's next? <laughs> right, and it's time for the final lesson. Here we are then, the final course in the art of love. <laughs> okay, I think I see what's coming. Give it to me. What's wrong with how I dress? 
I mean, this suit's natural, isn't it? Uh, far from it, I'm afraid to say. Highly unnatural. How? Is that a natural fabric color? Remember, we're after human nature here. Try something like this. That's actually this pretty a pretty nice outfit? looking outfit. It doesn't look that stylish. Nothing's more stylish than au natural. What's trendier these days than an organic lifestyle? These clothes, they're pure cotton and hemp, not an ounce of artificial color. An environmentally friendly ensemble. I get it. It's another way of keeping things natural. But Sachan, it, won't it surprise her? I mean, she's never seen me dress this way. Stop worrying. The call of nature affects everyone. Sachan will know on a primal level that this is sexy. Don't you see? It's written in our very souls to love those who love nature. Oh, uh, really, though? Look, I get the value of being environmentally conscious, but... Hey, come on, quit humoring this whack job, Kasuga. You try to win a girl's heart, not save the whales. Cosplaying as some kind of burlap beatnik isn't about to make Sachan go gaga for you. Okay, Adachi-san, what do you recommend? Aha! Feast your eyes on this masterpiece of sartorial seduction. Holy That's pretty shit. nice. Pretty flashy. Do you think this is a little too flashy? Kasuga, why does the firefly illuminate in the darkness? What? It's the male's method of courtship, obviously. Dazzling your beloved. Captivating them. It's an instinct every living thing on Earth shares. Obey your instincts, Kasuga. Light up her life, and Sachan will be putty in your hands. Whoa. Oh, when you put it like that, this suit is pretty amazing, isn't it? Yep. Now, don't you want to show up in that instead of Namba's crap bag? Damn, you're right. I've got to choose again. You both made good points. It's all right, Ichiban. Just go with your heart. Okay, I will. I'm wearing this one. I'm going to go for the more organic look. Uh, both outfits are actually really nice, but my me personally, I'm more probably the organic look than I am the razzle dazzle. So. Namba, it's yours. You've been telling me all along to keep it natural. This outfit is the ultimate way to embody that. <laughs> all right, I've said my piece. Go get her. Make this the best date ever. Damn right. We've done everything we can. You've got this, Ichiban. You two, watch. I'll make you proud. Yeah, if this date goes well, it's all because of them. Namba and Adachi-san, thank you. I should get back home now. Okay, Adachi, Namba, and Psycho have been added to your character profiles. If you bad the background of people Kasuga knows by opening the pause menu, going to save settings and selecting character profiles. Yeah, well, I think this is probably a really good place to quit. Uh, this episode has been quite story heavy and has gone on pretty uh, long. Let me go get this peach step real quick. Uh, looks, it looks like uh, Sachan and Ichiban are going on a date, so that will be our next episode. I just want to thank you for watching and remind you to smash that like button if I brought you entertainment at all and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Stay on top of the content I release. Love y'all. And until the next episode of Like a Dragon, be good people.